Okay, hi. Um, I'm going to try and use, um, I'm going to try and uh, produce a short uh, tutorial on how you use the medial system to do a screen capture lecture. Um, I'm actually using QuickTime uh, to record this session because I can't or haven't figured out how you use medial screen capture to capture a screen capture if that makes sense. Anyway, so what we'll do is um, if we go to the JS101 flexible flexible learning page, so here we are, um, just scroll up here, so flexible learning 101, I'm going to scroll down to the medial page section and I'm going to add, as we did before, a, um, <coughs> a medial activity. Click medial and click add. <coughs> okay, here we go. And let's give this a title called Screen Capture Using Medial. <coughs> and as before, if you scroll down and we click the Add Media option, what we'll find here is the splash page from before. Um, and in the previous example, we just clicked webcam, which allows you to down or, or capture a short clip just of the webcam and automatically upload it to the Moodle page. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the screen capture record option. Now, if I click that, because I've already installed the software, I get this option to activate the link to Medial, Media Lecture which is a, an app that sits on your local desktop and runs um, the connection. So when you first click record, you'll see that it will do some business. And you can see here on the left or down here at the moment, you can see it's it's sort of got this blue circle uh, pretending it's doing something. Um, that will download the app uh, when it's ready and then you can use it. Okay, so I'm gonna click open link. And uh, something should happen. <laughs> oh, there we go. So what you can see now is on the right of the screen, you get the uh, media lecture panel, uh, which is fairly simple. It's quite clean. Uh, the library will have a library of things you've recorded. So this is the recording I did yesterday. Um, you can set some settings up here. Uh, 720, blah, blah, blah. Scale, we'll get into that later. So. The record options here are pretty straightforward, screen only with sound, screen and webcam. Um, I'm not going to use the webcam because I'm using QuickTime and you can see my ugly mug here on the right anyway. Um, so I'm just going to go to screen, full screen, record. And then as you can see, it's just counting down, three, two, one, boom, and we've started. So the medial system is now running, apparently, um, and you should be able to see what it should capture, hopefully, what we're looking at here. So I'm going to do a few things. Let's just go back to, let's have a look at the, the medial web page, uh, editing, medial, etc., etc. We can annotate. If I click on down here on my Mac, you can see the little media icon here. If I click on that, I can click the draw tool and we can annotate uh, the screen. So if you're in the middle of a lecture like I am now blabbering on, I can start to highlight various things. Um, not very well, it seems. So let's uh, kill that and we'll get the highlighter pen. Make it a little bigger, and I can now highlight portions of the text uh, or point to various things in your lecture, etc. Okay, and once you're done, uh, you can click pause to pause. Oh, zoom, sorry, I was doing that. Once you're uh, done uh, recording the video, I click pause, which is that slightly blip you saw there. Um, once you're done recording, um, you just click uh, done in the panel. And uh, what you should be able to see is and started. So 
the medial system. It's, uh, it's now rec <laughs> it's playing back the video that I just recorded. So at this point, we could edit out some of the blips. You can chop, trim, chop, uh, trim from the ends, chop bits out um, of the video. So we can we could uh, pass uh, pass along or, or, or look at part of the video and say, oh, well, actually, that's the bit they don't want, and chop it out. Um, Oh, sorry, here we go. Yeah, the tools there, there, and there. Okay, I could say that's the bit I want to chop, chop that, boom. And then when you're ready, uh, click done down here on the bottom. Give it some, oh, let's call it a decent thing, description, test of medial screen capture. Uh, screen capture number, I'll just leave that tags, blah, 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 personal private. Let's make that public so that you can see it. And then I'm going to click save. So I'm going to save a copy to my local drive in case something goes t t horribly wrong during the upload. I, I have a copy. Um, and then when I'm ready, if I go to library here, you'll see it's now got a recording of what we've just done. And if I click upload now, Uh, nothing happens. Hmm, that's interesting. Not sure what's happening there. Oh, we just go to upload. Let's try that. There we go. So now you can see. Um, I don't know why that happened. Sorry. Um, you can see the. Media is now being uploaded from my hard drive to the um, server in Glasgow, which will allow us to link directly through the middle page. So that's going to take, you see, that's going to take two minutes for a one minute, 35 second video. So this is not hugely problematic, um, but if you do an hour long tirade, obviously that's going to take a long time to upload. But really, we should probably be aiming for five to six minute chunks little top video topics, so you break your lecture up into maybe five or six, six minute chunks, um, and then the, the upload time is not particularly onerous. Okay, I'm going to stop there, um, and when it's finished uploading, um, I'll upload it to the Adobe, uh, uh, Moodle system and we can have a look at it. Good, hope that was useful.